So this is the first randomized clinical trial to show that targeting metastatic breast cancer that expresses low levels of HER2 with trastuzumab can, which is a HER2 antibody drug conjugate, is more effective or a superior approach uh, versus using standard chemotherapy. Uh, up until now, our currently available HER2 targeted therapies have really not shown benefit in patients with HER2 low expressing breast cancers. Uh, and so these HER2 low breast cancers have historically been designated as HER2 negative breast cancer without an option to use HER2 targeted agents. Um, trastuzumab drexican is a very unique and exciting HER2 antibody drug conjugate therapy, and it has actually demonstrated activity across a range of HER2 expressing breast cancer. And so we now have uh, our very first promising HER2 targeted therapy for patients who traditionally have not had the opportunity to benefit from such um, targeted agents. And importantly, I think the strong efficacy for trastuzumab drexican in, in Destiny 4 highlight the clinical relevance of the HER2 low patient population and the need to redefine subgroups within HER2 negative breast cancer. Patients treated with trastuzumab can experienced an approximate 50% reduction in the risk of disease progression and an almost 40% reduction in the risk of death in comparison to standard chemotherapy. So the patient's metastatic disease was under control for twice as long with trastuzumab can therapy, and they had longer survival. In terms of safety, the overall rates of side effects or adverse events were, were associated with TDXD or chemotherapy were similar. Um, but it is well recognized that lung toxicity is an important safety concern with trastuzumab directs to CAN. And in Destiny 4, we found similar rates of lung toxicity as we have seen in other trials of patients, uh, of pretreated patients with advanced breast cancer. And so I think, again, it's important to stress that all patients on TDXD therapy need to be closely monitored for this potential risk, as it can be a serious toxicity for some patients. The results of Destiny Breast 04 are practice changing. I think the strong efficacy of trastuzumab rextican in this HER2 low patient population supports the need to now, I think, reclassify HER2 low as a new therapeutically targetable category of metastatic breast cancer. Uh, traditionally, we would have offered patients in this setting single agent palliative chemotherapy. However, we can now offer these patients the opportunity to receive a targeted therapy that's associated with superior outcomes and a survival advantage. Uh, trastuzumab can I think it really provides a very active and effective new targeted therapy for a large subpopulation of patients with metastatic breast cancer.